Hi, everybody. How are you? And you out there in TV land. I want to talk to you about something that occurred a year ago on this very same week. Do you remember what went on as a junior? Work keys. Very good. Well, you're cheating. You get the board. but Work keys. Remember that test? No? You choose to not remember it? All right. I'm here to talk to you today, and maybe even convince you today, to retake it. He's nuts, right? I'm going to tell you why. Because as a senior who has chosen to attend the Career Tech Center, when you graduate, before you leave, we have what's called Senior Send-Off. We are going to be giving you a National Career Readiness Certificate. Okay? NCRC, which is a nationally recognized certification that is generated and derived out of the results of the scores of your work keys tests. Okay? In those three areas, reading for information, applied math, and locating information. If you talk to your classmates that are juniors when they come back either today or tomorrow, ask them how the work keys went. Okay? It'll refresh your memory a little bit. Those are those time tests. All right? What they do, if you score a certain level on those tests, you can get a level of work keys ranging from platinum, which is the highest attainable, to gold, to silver, to bronze, which is the lowest attainable. And it all has to do with how well you score on those, those three tests. That's your, probably your next question, okay? And I'm going to just kind of scroll through some of this. The math is specifically mathematical reasoning. Real life work, not education, work-related math. So to an employer, depending on how high you score on that, it tells me as an employer the level of math that you have inside of you, okay, or the capability of, uh, of math reasoning, problem solving, critical thinking, all those types of things. Now, real quickly, who's going on to college? Anybody? I mean, I mean four-year degree, okay? Who's going to work? Wait, wait, those of you that are going to college aren't working? I mean, you're going to work someday. Everybody's going to work, right? So, potentially, you will have a very solid score on the National Career Readiness Certificate, okay? Now, you know for a fact that you took it last Who did not take it last year? Everybody took it, okay? So the scores, this is Mrs. Hammond. She's going to be personally walking around to each of your classes talking about your individual scores in math, in reading, and locating. And she will identify where you're at as far as the NCRC is concerned, the National Career Readiness Certificate, and the level that you currently have. Some of you might be, it's possible, somebody might be sitting out here or in the school that's already got a score high enough to have a platinum, okay? Which means you can't go any higher, you're good. But it's also possible some of you might have a bronze, okay? And maybe it's because you performed low in one of the three tests. You don't have to take them all, and she's going to explain that to you when she talks to you in person. Maybe your math score was low, okay? Low, low to a certain point where the other two were high, or it gave you a bronze, but all you got to do, maybe it could be two questions. It could be three questions you might have missed. Seriously. It could jump you from a bronze to a gold, depending on where you were at. Right? It's levels. Like, if you score a three on each three tests, that's a bronze. If it's fours, that's a silver. If it's fives, that's a gold. Are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Does that make sense? So if I, if, if I got a math score of a three and a five in, in reading and a five in locating, which career ready certificate would I get? Do you, does that make sense? I got a 355. Five. No. 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 Bronze, because my lowest score of the three tests is a three. So I get a bronze. Does that make sense? But I might be two questions from getting a five in that math test. So that's why I'm going to encourage you, once Mrs. Hammond comes in and explains it to you as far as where you're at, to retake it. If you want to take all three of them again and shoot for a platinum, we'll pay for that. We'll allow you to do that. And we're going to give you the, the NCRC when you, when you graduate at the end of the school year. Okay, so again, let's practice again. If you got a, uh, a four in math, a five in reading, and a three in uh, uh, locating, what's, what's your NCRC level? You got a three, four, five. Nope. What's your lowest number? Three, bronze. Are you with me? Does that make sense? If, what is your name, young lady? Kayla. Kayla, you got fives across the board. What's going to be your NCRC level? Gold, very good. Her lowest score was a five on that, those tests, so she gets a five. If it's a four, five, or six, six is approaching platinum, what's, what's, what are you going to have? 
Four, five, and six. Silver, very good, because your lowest number is a four, okay? All right, so math. Again, what the key with these tests is, it is workplace skills. Are you with me? It doesn't mean you're going to be a good welder, or a good nurse, or a good freelance reporter, but it means that you've got a foundational work skill that an employer can build upon, all right? It's a foundation. If the foundation is solid, employers are looking at this saying, wow, that person's worth investing in. So you could potentially go to an interview and raise your stock as far as uh, moving ahead of the line, okay? You may get the interview, but if you have an NCRC, that employer might recognize that and say, wow, they got a gold, they got a pretty good foundation. But then what if the employer doesn't recognize it? What if they have no idea what it means? What I say is, great, educate them. Tell them, I got an NCRC. Employer says, what is that? Explain it to them. It means I have certain workplace readiness skills at a certain level, which is represented by ACT. It's on the national website. You can check it out. Every job in the country that you can think of has been profiled. There's a level of work keys that the, 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 the ACT has established for every specific job in the country. Are you with me? Does that make sense? All right. So math is that. This one is, if you remember, locating. Graphic. Inserting information into a graph. How well can you do that? If you can do that to a certain level, you can get a certain level of NCRC. The better you can do that, the higher the NCRC you will get. Reading. Reading. I just did the yellow part. I really wanted you to Written text in order to do a job. Following a process sheet. You know, when you put something together, follow the instructions. How well can you take instructions and apply them and put something together? Okay? Signs, notices, bulletins, policies, things like that. The better you can do that, the more valuable you are to an employer. And that's represented by the National Career Readiness Certificate. Because you're all going to work. Whether you go to college for a two-year, four-year, or whatever, eventually you're going to work. And if you have this credential to go with you, it is industry recognized from Boston to LA. Not every employer knows about it, but it could be your job to educate them and impress upon them the fact that you've got this certain credential. Okay? There's the levels. Bronze, silver, gold. Okay? This is the interesting. If you've got a bronze, it tells me as an employer that you have the necessary skills or foundation for 35% of the jobs basically in the country. Right? But notice as you move up, you go from a bronze to a silver. What does that tell me as an employer? You've got twice as much more skills now. 65% of the jobs I have the skills for. Okay? And then you jump up all the way to platinum. If I have a platinum, if I'm an NCRC holder, which I am not, I'm a gold. This is my actual certificate. Okay? You're going to get this. You won't get the wood, but you're going to get the actual certificate. This tells that employer that. And if they don't know what it is, they can look it up and that'll tell them. Okay, so they might want to invest in me a little bit more. All right? I'm going to move on to, and this is a sample, a couple quick sample questions just to give you an idea. Here's a level three math, just to refresh your memory, not to have you guys go off on, on the deep end, but level three math. I'll read it to you. Your job as a cashier, a customer gives you a $20 bill to pay for a can of coffee that costs $3.84. Easy to do the math? You understand the change they're going to get back? Okay, even with a simple step, isn't it? What's the, what's the math step there? It's one, what is it? Subtraction, one step. Okay, that's a level three. That's a bronze. Not too hard, right? Makes sense? Now you go up a little bit. Let's jump to a level five. A call charges 18 cents per minute for a long distance call. Econophone totals your phone usage each month and rounds the number of minutes up to the nearest 15 minutes. It then charges $7.90 per hour of phone usage, dividing this change into 15-minute segments, this charge, if you use less than a half an hour. If your office makes five hours, three minutes worth of calls this month using the company with the lower price, how much will these calls cost? You're like, ah. Uh. Is that one step? No. Do you see the difference? Okay. This is a four or five step math question. That's why it's a level five. I can't do this in my head. I need something to do. Paper and a couple of different... So I want you to understand the different levels if you decide to retake this. There's a seven. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> uh, just because it, it, several steps. Here's reading for information. Okay. Store employees will now get 20% off the price of clothes they buy here. So as an employee, you get a discount. Please follow the new directions listed below. So you're going to be reading this information. It's relatively simple. If you were a cashier, according to the notice shown, what would you write on a store employee's receipt based on what you're reading here? Relatively simple. Now, we don't have the time to review that, but
but it's a relatively simple. By the time you read that, you can answer that question relatively sim simply. Here's a level five. What do you notice about it? Long, long, long. Look at this level seven. Long. Are you with me? See how long it is? Haven't even gotten to the question yet, have we? All right. Let's jump to a locating. You regularly check the pressure gauge on a large tank. This is the, this is the pressure gauge right here. That gauge, what is the pressure currently in pounds per square inch? Anybody can tell? 35, right? 20, so this is 0, 10, 20, 30, between 30 and 40 is 35. Pretty simple, okay? Let's jump ahead to a level 5. Ooh. Now you got to use a what? A graph or a chart. You got to determine crosswind, okay? Multiple steps. Look at the level 6. It gets scarier, doesn't it? So you have to actually take stuff and apply it using charts and graphs. So you've got to look back and forth, okay, multiple steps. All right, again, I'm not going to read that for you, but I wanted you to see that, okay? Anybody have any questions? I don't know how well of a job I did on that. My ultimate goal is for you to, when Ms. Hammond comes through to talk to you, look at where you're at. I would challenge you because right now, while you're here at CTC, it's free. Take advantage of it. You want to take that test again? Take it and we'll get you the NCRC at the end of your time here in the senior send-off, okay? Questions? Awesome. I think I covered it. Anything, Mrs. Hammond? I think I awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.